Okay, I've been doing my homework before my friend arrived. So he was doing an action for a particular time and that action was ongoing when another action interrupted it. Okay, before that. So he had been doing his homework before another action happened. So there are two actions which is already done. But which has been ongoing for some point of time in the past is called past perfect continuous. Okay friends, so you all have to understand all four formulas are different, all four situations are different. But when you compare it and learn with the same example, it's so easy. It's really easy. And as I told you in the present tense, it is also important that you have to take n number of examples like this. Make a sentence in past simple, convert the same sentence into past progressive, past perfect and past perfect progressive. Okay, so when you compare present and past tense, it's going to be even more easy for you. Okay, so mastering the tenses is not at all a big deal if you put a sincere efforts and be really, really confident in English speaking. After you know all these tenses, you can yourself feel that you become really confident. Okay, friends, enrich, empower and emerge with English. Don't forget to wear the mask, sanitize your hands and maintain a social distancing which is really important. All the very best.